Hi children, welcome to Computer Education. I am Reshma here. Today we are going to discuss about CPU and its internal parts. That is so many hardware components are there inside the CPU. See, motherboard, RAM, ROM, processor, hard drive, heatsink. These are all the hardware main hardware components inside the CPU. This is motherboard. It is a circuit board. It allows communication between all other components. As I said, so many hardware components are there inside the CPU. All those components are communicated with each other with the help of motherboard. Next is RAM and ROM. RAM memory, it is to store working data. It is volatile memory. It means when the power is turned off, the data inside the RAM will be deleted. ROM, it is non-volatile. When the power is turned off, the data will remain. The memory which store data that cannot be modified. That is ROM, read-only memory. Processor, it is a small chip. This is actually we are calling brain of the computer. It is to receive input and provide output. Next is hard drive. I have shown the internal structure also here on the second picture. This is magnetic storage. It is non-volatile. All the data files, everything, it will be saved inside it. This is a heat sink, otherwise we can say cooling fan. Without this, the CPU will quickly burn itself. So it helps to cool down the computer. Now let's see the internal parts of CPU. After opening the CPU, you can see these many parts inside it. Front part, there is CD drive. And... Can you see the motherboard? Yes, motherboard is there. That is circuit board. This is motherboard. Heat sink is there. And this green color thing is RAM. This is hard disk. Heat sink is there. Two cooling fan is there. So after closing it, it is CPU box. That's all children. Thank you.